A smooth transition of presidential power is taking place in Gabon. That is just one of several stories on the African continent that caught our attention this week. VOA's Paul Sisko has more. Thousands gathered in tribute in Accra this week for the funeral of the late Gabonese President Omar Bongo. Following constitutional law, former Senate leader Rose Francine Ragombe is the interim president, and presidential elections will take place in 30 to 45 days. And South Africa's president, Jacob Zuma, kicked off the one-year countdown to the 2010 World Cup at brand new Greenpoint Stadium in Cape Town. Also in Cape Town, former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan spoke at the conclusion of the World Economic Forum for Africa. I think uh, Africa is on the, on, uh, is on the move. Uh, it's going to be the next frontier. And I think those bold and visionary businessmen who invest in Africa will reap uh, rich rewards. Less encouraging is the forum's report on the global economic crisis. It shows that falling exports and commodity prices are having a negative impact on economies across the continent. In Berlin, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, meeting with Zimbabwe's Prime Minister Morgan Chengarai, pledged $35 million in assistance. That came just days after U.S. President Barack Obama promised $73 million to the Zimbabwean people. Sweden, Germany, the U.S., and other international bodies say more aid will be forthcoming for Zimbabwe's troubled economy if promised political reforms materialize. With fanfare, Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir opened an ethanol biofuel production plant. The facility is expected to produce 65 million liters of biofuel in its first year and more than triple that output in two years. And at Mombasa's port in Kenya, it was the formal inauguration of an undersea fiber optic cable by Kenyan President Mwai Kabaki. The economies of today are largely driven by internet and other ICT connections. It will empower Kenyans and other East Africans to become fully digital citizens of the 21st century. The $130 million telecommunication project links Kenya and the United Arab Emirates. And why load an elephant onto a flatbed truck? In Malawi, the elephants are in a deadly battle with farmers who don't like the beasts devouring their crops. So with help from the International Fund for Animal Welfare, 60 elephants are being moved to safer confines, a game reserve 300 kilometers away. Finally, International pop star Madonna says she's ecstatic. Malawi's Supreme Court ruled she can adopt a second child from the southern African country. In 2006, Madonna adopted David Banda, who's now three years old. Paul Sisko, VOA News.